Hey guys, Scott Niska here. We are in Hancock, Michigan today uh, at M&M Power Sports. Articat has brought their Blasts and their Riot X to town for demo rides. So we're over here giving them a good shakedown. Um, looking around, I noticed that there isn't a whole lot of good review videos for the Blast specifically. Um, so just kind of wanted to give people a taste of what it's like, who it's for, and how it rides on the trails. One thing that really stood out to me when we walked up to, this, to the Blast sleds is they're not as small as I thought they were going to be. Their fit and finish is is really good. Seems like they're uh, they're well put together. Just a, a really good, you know, entry level sled that probably is for a whole lot more people than first time riders. They didn't bring an M to town, uh, which I was kind of bummed about because that uh, Blast M would be like an ideal backcountry sled here. Uh, for getting into tight spots for uh, entry level riders, even for kids. So we're gonna jump on them here and we'll let you know how they go. I like it. Responsive. It's got a lot of punch. You can tell it's a single cylinder, but it's actually got a lot of a lot of zip right up. It tracks well. The handle bumps really nice. This is a fun little ripper. Engine braking. I like this motor. It's responsive. It's um it's really quick. I'm, I'm guessing it tops out, uh, you know, pretty, maybe 55 or 60, but up to 50, it, it's quick. I love it. You know, it's, it feels small. It, it feels very manageable. You can definitely pick the skis up. That is not a problem. Like I said, the engine engine braking is really good. But the size, the size feels really manageable. It's not huge. Um, it, you know, it, it's not big like the, the bigger models feel. It feels, uh, it feels nice. I would have no problem owning one of these. You know, this short track. It, on these trails especially, if you, you can definitely feel the bump. 
but it's not a problem. It actually, it, it feels like a little racer. I love it. I would, I would love to have a group of these. I would love to have a crew of these sleds zipping around. I think that would just be a whole lot of fun. Like it's not cold, you know? The, I mean, the windshield is small, but the wind deflection is actually pretty good. Um, it's a chilly day, it's about 14 degrees today. But I don't feel cold riding it like I thought I was gonna. Overall, first impression on this is really, really good. It's a, uh, it's a capable little ripper. I don't love having the switches down here, um, but I'm sure they just did that for, you know, make many packs in these. Fun? So, what's that? You want to keep going a little? Yeah, so this is just, this turn, we get out of the residential here, so let's just turn, go up to there's some power lines up here, and we can wheel around there and switch sleds, and they're fun. I actually like the sound of them, too. You know, right here, you can tell it's a single cylinder, but... I would jump off and this is a tough corner it's a blind corner here they're fun Heads up. High low. I don't love having a high low down there, especially it'd be nice if it was on the bars. But we'll see how this longer track does. This is the one I'm excited about. of 
not a whole lot of snow. I think that TR is a really good choice. If you're running trails, this actually is LT. It's a, actually a pretty, uh, a pretty doggone capable machine. I would love to see how this handles, you know, deeper snow. Because I think it would do really, really well off trail. I mean, it's just light. It feels like it would be flickable. You know, and, and these bumps here, yeah, you feel it on the front end, but you don't feel it at all on the backside. You know, you can comfortably cruise over these bumps with that CR. It was, it wasn't squirrely, obviously. You know, it's just a shorter track, so it doesn't handle the, it doesn't bridge these bumps as well. I gotta say, I, I think Articat really nailed this machine. Any of you who ride the Keweenaw a lot, you know, right from Rat. Um, there's been a lot of snowmobile traffic today, and so the, the trails are, you know, probably haven't been touched since this morning. are really warm today. Like I said, it's 14 degrees and the hand warmers are really good. How many people have eaten at Geno's that are watching this? If you've eaten at Geno's, leave a comment. These hand warmers, you know, it's 14 degrees and actually they're, they're too warm today. Maybe it's because of the taller windshield. But I'm about to turn them off because they're actually very warm. One thing that's really impressive is this motor. I, I, I figured it was going to be good, but it's got a lot of punch. Like off the line, it is it is really 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 impressive. That's a good sight. That bridge coming into view here. You know this for the price point. I I just think that. Manufacturers have been missing them all for a few years. And, you know, the sweats we see coming up here these days are, are you know, all just really expensive. Um, you know, it's good. I love taking the sweats come up here, but you don't see sweats in this, in that beginner class anymore. Not a whole lot of them anyway, and I do think this is a sweat that you can you can run the human on for a whole day. It's super comfortable. Like I love the I love the fit and finish of it. It it is just extremely comfortable. You know, everything is where it needs to be, at, you know, other than the handlebars. Uh, Stuff, the hand warmers and stuff. Um, this LT performs really well over these bumps. Um, you know, obviously that long track adds a lot, but it just it works really well. Alright, so we just got off the last sleds. We rode the ZR and the LT. Um, first impressions when I climbed onto the ZR was that the, the feel of it was really good. Um, it, 
you know, I'm 5'8", 170 pounds, but it felt like it, it fit me. And the seating position was really good. The handlebars were at the right spot. Uh, one thing I noticed right away is there's no switches on the handlebars. They're all down on the console, which, um, you know, could be, could be good or bad. Um, I mean, I'm sure they did that to keep cost down, but, you know, to be flying down the trail and have, you, you know, be flipping the headlights uh, from high to low or, or turning the thumb warmers on and off might be a little bit hairy. Um, so that was one thing that, you know, I, I didn't love. Um, as soon as I climbed on, you know, we gave it some, gave it some gas, jumped out on the trail here. Zero to 50, these things are little rockets. Like, it, it really surprised me. I, I didn't know what to expect from the motor, um, you know, from being a 400 single cylinder. When you listen to it, you can tell it's a single, but it was just really, really snappy. It was a fun little motor. So yeah, the ZR, um, you know, it tracked well on the trail. That's another thing I was thinking, if, if it's lighter, if it's got a shorter track, it might not track really well on the trail. You know, it feels really responsive, it's really playful, it's just a, a really fun ride. I was really happy with it. Who I think the sled is ideal for is a, it, it would be a great little ditch banger. You know, central Minnesota, central Wisconsin, um, you know, if you're not running wide open down trails, you know, all day long, um, I think this is a great option for you. We ran out a couple miles down the trail, turned around, I got on the LT. So you can tell that the LT has a longer track, not only by the way it rides, but um, you know, it's not quite as punchy as that ZR is. The LT bridged all of the bumps that we felt on the trail with the ZR. The LT rode really well, it tracks really well. If you don't have a need for speed, but you want comfort, that LT is a great option. Um, you know, if, if you're looking for something that's really snappy, really easy to throw, uh, you know, you're running corner, you know, corner to corner a lot, that ZR could be a really great option for you. Uh, we, didn't, we don't have great off-trail snow right now. Um, we had a warm spell about a week ago that really kind of packed the, packed the snow down. So we don't have great snow to get off the trail and, you know, carve and figure out how they handle off the trail. Um, so I can't tell you anything about that, but that LT, I would actually be interested in that sled. Um, unfortunately, they, they don't have an M, so I don't know how that rides compared to the LT, but that LT, I would consider it for the UP here. Um, you know, we ride a lot of off-trail, we don't ride a lot of trail, and that LT would probably be really good for in the woods. You know, you get those tighter, uh, you get in those tighter spots, and that LT might actually um, do, do pretty well here in the UP. So yeah, first impressions of that, of that 400 single cylinder motor is that it is really snappy. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a lot on the top end. So if you're running trails all day long, you know, you, it might not be a good fit. You might need to step up to 600. Uh, corner to corner, that thing is gonna be hard to beat. I, I was really impressed.